Hey everyone, this is Sam and welcome back to Back to Beta. In the last episode, I threw together a bridge behind the barn and uh, it's looking pretty nice. I thought I'd just show it off if you haven't seen the... Oh no, <laughs> there's signs here. Oh my... F What's this box player and Ryan again? They keep placing signs all over my builds for some reason. <laughs> Yep, it's 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 my bridge, guys. It's it's my bridge. <laughs> my support leader. Um, I feel like Box Player placed this sign. He does not know how to spell. I don't know if that guy ever did a spelling bee when he was younger, but that dude does not know how to spell. I gotta look around to see if I can find any signs on the bridge. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Those are my leaves. Oh. Uh... My troll bridge? Hey, uh, that's that's a little cruel. Don't... Oh my god. My bridge arch. These signs are going to be everywhere, aren't they? But anyway, uh, I got this bridge done, and it's looking cool. I got a little better response on it than I thought I would, so... It's nice to see that you guys are enjoying it. But, there's one... There's... there's <laughs> so, I, I... I can't talk today. What would be there? Now, I've been working in this area for the past two episodes, and I want to take a break from it. But, I want to shift my focus from the spawn area over to the Christmas area today. So basically, uh, Box Player and Ryan were going around the world trying to find a really cool area for Christmas, and they found a giant snow biome that they want a bunch of people to build stuff in and i said cool <laughs> i'm not the most christmasy person to be completely honest with you i'm like presents and stuff i mean that's cool christmas season that's cool but my favorite thing about christmas is snowboarding <laughs> if you don't know the lore i mean most of you probably don't unless you see that one video on my my second channel <laughs> but um Every Christmas, my family and I like to go snowboarding. We like to go places, primarily Switzerland, and uh, it's kind of a holiday tradition, and it's usually what I look forward to every year. I love snowboarding. It's the greatest thing ever made. But I think... Oh, sh I think it's this way. <laughs> so there's a very big snow area over here, guys, and it is hard to navigate. I think I'm going the right direction. It's kind of far away from the portal. <laughs> yeah, this looks like the right area. Uh, if you're wondering what all this mumbo jumbo is, this is uh, something Ryan's doing. Maybe he'll get it done, maybe he won't. That guy goes from project to project constantly. <laughs> so who knows if he'll get this thing done. <laughs> Believe I'm not spoiling too much. But he told me that when I said, hey, I want to do a Christmas area, maybe do a ski resort he said well there's this giant mountain in the christmas area that you can build so he showed me this and i'm like this is a good mountain to do some cool stuff in <laughs> it's looking fancy so my goal is to make a swiss ski resort a village and just make it look really cool and then maybe i'll come in and throw a few Christmas decorations around because I think that'd be pretty cool so yeah um I don't really know where to start I have been getting a lot of materials for this a lot of them and I think I've got enough to actually get started on this but this this mountain is huge this goes up almost to the build limit it's like 100, 110 or something in a 128 block tall world. So I basically have a lot of room to do some uh, really cool stuff here. Um, yeah, what, what, what's the Y? Looks like, yeah, 113, there's only 15 blocks and then we reach the, the top of the world, which is ridiculous. The only issue is I don't really know where to start. <laughs> I don't know if I should do the actual slope first, or if I should do the village first, or if I should do everything at once. I'm trying to uh, 
I guess, format it like an artist would. I'll probably do a lift or something going up here, parallel to the long side of the mountain. Then maybe we can do a uh, this, this slope coming like down here, right down in the middle, because I think that'd be a really cool view. And I want the town to be over here as well, maybe. Maybe scatter a few houses uh, down this way near the lake. But I don't know for sure. <laughs> I have really cool ideas. I'm going to base it off of a real ski resort I've been to multiple times, which is Zermatt in Switzerland. Peak, peak ski resort. Best one I've ever been to. But yeah, it's crazy. So I, I want to kind of replicate some of the things from that just because it's just it, it's a cool place. So I, I thought putting that in uh, this game would be cool. I don't really know what to do here. I was thinking about doing a diagonal lift or diagonal gondola or whatever you want to call it or whatever. Coming up from here up to the top, but I just think that'd be way too much to, to handle. I'd probably just make it go straight up like this because I think that'd be really cool. A, like a base station or whatever they're called there and one at the top. I might change up a tiny bit of the terrain just to make it work a little better. So yeah, <laughs> I like this area a lot. I might uh, maybe shave down some of this and then terraform around the front to kind of make this uh, this part of the slope go down a lot. And then I can just take it down to here and then, yeah. Now, technically, there at Zermatt, there's like three main uh, areas. So there's the town at the bottom, and then you go up one uh, gondola lift thing up to a base area at the beginning of the summit, and then you can take different other gondolas to get up to the top, uh, the actual slopes where you can actually access them. But <laughs> with a mountain this size it's not the largest thing in the world but it's a decent size so i'm probably just going to uh do one thing at the bottom and then i'll just go up to the top like this and maybe i don't know maybe i could put buildings here i like this area a lot like in its natural state it's looking really cool over here and i'm a fan i don't really know what to do about the grass if i can snow that up or something i don't know I, I, I want it to look really nice. Oh shit, it's getting dark. But yeah, that's kind of the plan, I guess. I just want to get this area done. I want to see how much I can get done here. I, I have a lot of materials. I just need to build, format, just get try to make this area look nice. And I've got a few cool ideas for this area. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to grab some materials and maybe get started with the planning. All right, so I'm back, and I want to show you something really cool, really quick, right before we get started. Look at this. I got, I'm rocking the Xbox Minecraft default skin. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't. I never really had Minecraft on Xbox. I never had an Xbox. I didn't ever play console Minecraft at my own house. But I remember when this came out, when I'd hang out with my friends who had this on their Xboxes, I was re a really big fan of this skin. And there was a couple years straight where I would rock this skin when it was around Christmas time, which is really cool. So I thought I'd do it again, and look at me. It looks nothing like my main skin, but I'm a big fan of it. Um, so the first thing is going to... I'm Whoa, sorry about that. <laughs> the first thing I want to do is do the slope of it and then we can layer everything around the slope if that makes sense so it, it's basically what i was talking about earlier change the the terrain of the hill a tiny bit because if you if you like go down this section or this section here you're going to eat shit <laughs> as a snowboarder like i know if you if you have this really big thing you're either gonna have to try really hard to stick the landing or you are genuinely done for <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to change that. And then one other thing, if you look at this, it doesn't really look like a slope. It just looks like a straight up mountain because you see all the dirt. Well, guess what I, whoa, guess what I got like a week ago? Six stacks of snow blocks. I don't think that'll be enough, but it might be. So I'm going to try to uh, get this thing put together with snow blocks to make the, uh, the slope look a lot more 
a lot more natural, a lot more slopey looking, if that makes sense. So it's mainly just going to be me like slightly changing the terrain, maybe just shaving off a block or so off of each of these really steep areas. Now I'll just replace most of these blocks with snow because I'm a big fan of how this main terrain is generated. So, whoa. So I'm going to get around to that like right now and I'll BRB. Okay, that's about a second. I'm recording. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice DJ set. That's perfect. Wow. Hooray, I did it. W. Oh my gosh. He's going crazy. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, a lot of stuff has happened in the Christmas area, but I finally got this snow done. It's looking pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> I probably 10 or so hours of work. I was telling people about like, oh, it took forever, 10 hours of work. And they were like, dude, what? That's nothing. And then I just tell them I, I have a life. <laughs> But uh, my finals have finished, so it's time to grind. It's grind time. All this other sh shit has uh, gone up around me. Not a whole lot, but people are, people are working on stuff right now. Uh, <laughs> hopefully this place will be populated by Christmas. I, snow still hasn't gone up here for some reason. Maybe the, it has to be loaded in while it's snowing. Alright, whatever. I do want to show you one, th a couple things. Okay, first of all, Monster and I renovated the nether. I mean, there isn't a whole lot to show. We just covered up a bunch of holes and put fire everywhere. And, uh, wait, let me go over here. You'll probably, I'm guessing that Monster will show off, uh, a lot about that in his video. I'm just guessing, because he, he seems like the type of guy to do that. Um, yeah. Monster built this Santa head, the jolly, the jolly old man himself, and it's looking really nice. <laughs> I am loving that. Kind of memed it when he first showed him to me. I was like, oh, whatever. It, it looks pretty good. It, it looks nice. <laughs> I think the back of him's a little strange, but I, it's kind of hard to do a human head in Minecraft. It's like blocky from the front, round from the back, but who gives a shit? <laughs> Uh, festive guillotine for all your all your execution needs monster is taking a bunch of pictures of people from uh, up here and you could uh, put someone inside of it I'm not gonna get in there with the thing in because you get trapped but that's basically what happens you open up the trap doors go inside when you shut these your head it'll look like your head is stuck between the thing on the gu on the guillotine <laughs> The guillotine. And then over here... Oh shit, creeper. Did he just fucking despawn? That's awesome. Okay, anyway. Oh, hey. What up? <laughs> I'm gonna keep this in. <laughs> so, yeah, T TLB's been playing a little more on the server lately. Hopefully... Uh, he makes a comeback because he had some of my favorite videos on here. Oh, word, yeah. Yo, what up, man? You're watching, uh... I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Monster discovered this dungeon down here. Literally right under my mountain. And, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ruin the spawn rates for a second to show you. So, uh, Monster and I were in a call one day. We actually got a lot of BTB members on there, like Box Player, Ryan... Dialco, Hello World, and we were just talking. I think Greffin was on there too. Basically, we were just talking for a really long time, and during that time, me and Monster threw this thing together. It's not bad. <laughs> we were both running around trying to get as many red sheep as possible to make this candy cane thing. That's cool, it's festive, but when you turn the lights off, you can't see a single thing. 
Except for like this area here. I was thinking about putting a light switch so you could see it. So you, I don't know, don't have the mob farm running constantly, but I don't think that's useful at all. Unlike the spider farm that is at spawn, this one uh, actually just has them drown rather than having them, I don't know, just, just not mollish and cacti. What's he up to? I don't know. <laughs> but Monster wants me to build a building on top of this, but first, I want to do the lift for the ski resort. Oh my god, it's almost getting dark. It's not that bad. <laughs> I, I always go paranoid whenever the sun's like there, even though I've still got a little bit of time. I'm gonna do the ski lift, probably start it around here. I'm gonna put like the, the entrance building probably somewhere around here. But I don't know exactly yet. Mainly what, I, I want it to go over this tiny little valley sort of thing because I, I don't know. I think that'd be the coolest idea. I know from experience a lot of lifts that I've been on, they're over valleys. And I know that's for multiple reasons. Okay, let's go up here. What I want to do is actually start out building the top one because I think it, it'd just be a lot easier. <laughs> to find the correct top spot rather than trying to start at a certain point and try to make it line up with the top. I don't really care where it is on the ground. I don't want it to be too much in the way between uh, the, the main village, which will be here, and uh, the building down there. So I don't know yet. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... <laughs> that's what I want to do. So I'm gonna grab some materials and... Uh, maybe we can begin building or something. I don't know exactly what to do yet, so it's just going to be some experimentation for a little bit. Maybe I'll just throw, throw it together very soon, right now. I don't know. And throw together the ski lift I did. Look at this thing. I, th this is one of my favorite builds I think I've ever done uh, in this version of the game. It might be one of my favorites I've done in a long time. Something about it's so satisfying to me. There are a couple of things I'm a little iffy about, but for the most part, I'm a big fan of what I managed to put here. Uh, this took about two days, <laughs> which was a lot of work, but I got pretty much everything done. There's only small, just a small amount of details that I could add or, or change a tiny bit, which I will, but it's not really worth doing on camera. I'll, I'll do it in my free time if I have some extra time after I do the rest of the stuff. But for now, the, the, this thing's looking amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So, uh, yeah. Let's go back to the, to the ground and, and uh, <laughs> show it off. Some more stuff's been happening over here. The, the snowflake's gone because Ryan and Box Blair... Actually, no, Box Blair managed to uh, convince Ryan to actually do his fist. And it was almost entirely because of Box Blair that this thing actually got put together. It's almost done. So hopefully they get it finished. Then the Alco's over here building a snow globe or something. Hopefully he gets that done in time. But this is what I did. So this is the entrance. I, I'm going to add a tiny little entrance area outside of here in the future. But not for now. Because I want to move on to doing some, doing the village. Which, change of plans. It's actually going to be in front of Ryan's Fist. I just have a lot more room there. It looks a lot nicer there. And Boxplayer actually built a train way in the back somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta, like, travel really far to load it in. But it's a train. Yeah, you can see it. It's looking fancy. Didn't know Box Player could build that well. Maybe Ryan Ghost built it or something. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm just throwing shade. <laughs> He's a good builder. I don't care. But, uh, alright, let's actually check this thing out. So, this is the entrance. This is how you get on. And, uh, I used a lot of real lifts to uh, get on here. Uh, this is a very Swiss inspired one, so I wrote signs in English, German, and French in order. I th if I remember correctly, I think these are, I think this is correct. Don't get too mad at me if it isn't though. It's just words. So this is the maintenance shack. I try to make this look cozy. <laughs> the reason I extended the glass out was because I wanted to put a computer in here. We got the Windows XP background, even though this is technically like a no-clip type of art 
but it but when it's all pixelated like this it looks like bliss or something got the chair a bunch of buttons and doodads a shelf and then there's the heater and then of course i built a little heater thing outside which i think looks kind of cool still have this crafting table here i'll get rid of that in the future we got a caution moving walkway and then just like how real ski resorts are you'll wait at these and then they'll automatically open when one of the the chairs comes around and then you'll get on the treadmill it'll automatically take you forward or whatever and you'll stand here and then the chair will catch up to you and when it does you're supposed to sit down and then enjoy the ride up when you head up to the top then I've also got the pussy exit. If you want to go up to the top and you're like, shit, man, I don't want to go down the hill, then you can just turn around and you can get on with another treadmill up there. You can take it down. And then just like it is on the top, there's actually a little snow thing. And then you just get on your board or your skis or whatever, jump out of the thing, slide out, and then you're done. God damn it, it's freaking night. Fuck this shit. And then, yeah, that's the exit. I need a, I was going to fill this in, but I was just going to put dirt everywhere because I think that's too low of an area. M Monster came in and terraformed the area, but I think he terraformed it a little too low. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, because there was a, if you don't remember, there was a big valley right here. But Monster just came in, threw dirt everywhere, fixed it, whatever. It's looking nice, though. This is my chair design, too. So I put bars, these levers, these lever, lever, <laughs> whatever they're called. These things are supposed to be like bars that s help support it. It's a very simple design, but I think it gets across what it's supposed to be pretty well. I mean, I don't know. Then uh, this is, this is the exact same design as is on top. It's just a little pillar in the middle holding up this large um, canopy thing. And there's a big gear in the middle that twists the line around. The thing that holds the gear into place, but just connect it up to the top with some janky mechanics and some details to make it look important. It looks kind of top heavy, but I don't really care too much. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's literally the exact same on the top. There, there really isn't much to show off up there. If anything, it's more janky up there just because I did the top first. Because, I don't know, it's the smartest way to do it in my opinion. Because... You want it to look nice on the top. I don't really care where it was on the bottom. So I just kind of experimented with the lines. It's uh, a lot, the slope is a lot steeper over here than it is at the very top, just because the way the land is formed, it's kind of, it's kind of like a very flat. So if I went down with the slope I used over here, it would have hit the ground. But I think it's looking really nice. There's a uh, yellow things, which I don't know if some skier gets stupid and bumps into it. It's supposed to be like foamy or whatever to uh, stop the skier from, you know, colliding into it and dying or anything. And then this is the, the top of it. I made a little retaining wall just to keep it up here looking nice. And here it is up here. As I said, it's the exact same design. I did this one first and I did a one on the bottom second. There are probably a few slight differences. The treadmill doesn't really care. I don't know. I want it to be a janky treadmill anyway because it's the pussy exit. And then this is the other maintenance shed, which is just, it is basically the same thing, only with a couple buttons and stuff moved around. And then, yeah, that's basically it. Monster was doing some cliff thing over here. Don't know why, but he was like, I wanted to build a cliff here, and I just said, sure, I don't really care. <laughs> Who cares about the back of this place? No one's going to go over here anyway. And then, yeah, I like the design here. Very, very light medieval roof. We got another heater up here. Of course, this guy needs his heating. And, yeah, there, there really isn't much else to show you here. I think I did nicely. I can't describe how annoying it was to build the, uh, the line up here. I just kept like building towers, placing a couple of things on the line and then digging it down, moving over a few blocks and then building up, placing blocks, digging down. <laughs> I did that over and over again. And especially with the with the chairs, that was stupid. I'll probably just go up one of these uh, towers just to show you what's up here. This is basically the same as how they are in real life as well. So you'll go up the tower and it's just maintenance. There's a little staircase that allows you to go down. These things are supposed to be... The stone next to the line is supposed to be gears and shit that t that turn the line around. Then I tried to make it look a little nice, like putting it in place and stuff. And I did it over here as well. Another little staircase. Kind of janky, but that's kind of how they are in real life. wanted them to look accurate, so hey, 
I think it looks nice. I think it looks pretty cool. So that's kind of what I did here. I don't think there's anything else to show up, but yeah, I can't get over how annoying it was to build this. These two buildings didn't take a whole lot of time. Uh, it took a little bit, but that's just because I kept experimenting with it. But this was just annoying. And then I had to do math to find out how many blocks there were. There's like 173 or 172 or 172 blocks on this entire line or something. So I decided to do nine cars and that made like one car every 18 or so blocks. So I tried to make it as even as possible. I think it's looking cool. I think it's looking nice. I think it's cool. I don't know. There, there really isn't much else to show off here. <laughs> But yeah, that, I, I think it turned out really nicely. I'm, I'm loving it. And uh, probably in my off time or something, just because I don't feel like sp feel like doing it all on video, I'll probably throw together a very, very simple bottom area. Then I'll throw, I'll put some wool or something over here around the bottom of the hill as like blockers and protection. Then I'll probably build a little, a uh, couple observing platforms. Maybe one right here so you can watch everyone come down or something I don't know and then I'll probably do like a typical canopy tent because for some reason there's a lot of canopy tents at some places like that the you know the janky ones that you can get at like Walmart or something that you that have the steel rods that you have to balance up at the top and it's got the fabric fucking pyramid on top and it keeps it's not very b built super well for windy weather <laughs> I hope you know what I'm talking about <laughs> But I'll probably build one of those over here just for some realism. But yeah, for the most part, this is done. It's just a couple details. I don't know what Dialco wants in front of his build, if he's going to keep trees there in front of the snow globe or not. But he's been working really hard at that for the past few days. And that's looking super cool. I really hope he gets done with it. And then, yeah, the hand is almost done. Box player's train. He was talking about maybe putting rails everywhere, but he's going to be busy, so maybe Ryan will do it for him. I don't know yet. But this Christmas area is looking, looking pretty nice so far, and uh, yeah. <sighs> so I think it's about time to go over to the area that I want to build the village now and show off what I want to do over there. It's going to be a lot of work, but... If it goes right, it's going to look amazing. Alright, so I'm in front of Ryan's hands, and this is the view that uh, I kind of want the village to have. I was talking to Ryan about it, and we decided kind of together that this would just be much better for the village. Because, you know, there's a train over here. Like, where, where the hell would the train be coming from? Oh, yeah, the village. <laughs> so, plus I just didn't have enough room over there because a bunch of stuff got built. Ski lift was a little further forward, like further in this direction than I kind of hoped it would be. So I'm just going to build a village over here. I think it gets a good view of the, the ski thing though. So the idea that we kind of had, first of all, I kind of came up with a cool house design or at least a house style. I haven't even come up with the proper design. I just came up with a building method and, and, a, and a vague block palette. But I've got some cool ideas. And Ryan wanted to put a, wanted a dock or something to be put here that kind of goes right in front of the hand. That's pretty cool. And then, I don't know, I think Ryan was talking about building a train station. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff here <laughs> that we might get done. But the, the number one thing I kind of want to do right now, the first thing I want to do is build a church. And in Zermatt, Switzerland, which is my favorite ski resort, there's a real church there called Farkirche uh, St. Uh, Mauritius or something. It's got a weird name, but it's a beautiful church. It looks really nice. So I want to build it here. Maybe uh, extend this hill out a little bit. Maybe I want to keep a cliff on the, the back side of the church, though, because I think it'd look cool. It'll be long ways, and the entrance will be over here or something. Then we could do a little bit of a hill leading down, maybe put a small town square type of thing here or something. Then just build some buildings going along the land. Don't really know exactly how I want to do it yet, but I just want to build a church up here, get it done, and I'll probably... Uh, it, it's a lot of work, dude. It, it is so... It, it's going to be a decently sized church. I think I'm going to use a lot of sandstone, sand, uh, snow... A lot of other stuff for it. 
but I think when it gets done that it's going to look really nice. And maybe if I have some spare time, I'll probably throw a little cemetery on this side of the church because that's, that's how it is in real life. And then just like how in Zermatt, there's a lot of small hills everywhere, so there will be a lot of little walkways and sidewalks and stuff going up and down and all around. <laughs> that sounds like a, that sounds like some preschooler shit. Why'd I say that? But you know what I mean. So, yeah, I'm going to get some materials together and begin working on the church, which <laughs> I hope I get done. <laughs> Alright guys, it's finally done. It looks a little weird, but that's because it looks a little weird in real life. This, I'd spent around 30 hours in the past four days getting this done because I wanted to get it done on time, and I think it's really cool. Sorry for not building it, I just, it, it was so intensive, it took me completely out the last day I did it. <laughs> it's Christmas Day right now, got this thing done at 1.30, and then I went to bed. So this is the name of it. If you find it on Google, eh, it's the one in Switzerland. And if you go into the street view, you'll see why it, 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 it looks very similar. <laughs> so this is the inside. I think it's really cool. Used a lot of brown wool in here. <laughs> There's stained glass. I don't know how you do stained glass in this game, but I think it looks fine. There's lights up here. This is the organ, but it looks kind of strange. <laughs> And then, I don't know what these things are, but they're in the in the original building, and I don't know what they are. There's other things that are, like, over there, and then over there are both the stairs, but they're... <laughs> I, I can't fit them here, because <laughs> they're kind of small. I did, like, a tiny little dungeon crypt thing. Maybe in the future I'll put a door or something here and extend it somewhere else. This was done last minute. This was the last thing I did. <laughs> Threw it together in, like, two minutes. Then over here is like where all the fancy stuff is. So the, there's a table here for some reason. <laughs> Don't know why, but there is. I have no idea what these things are, but they're, they're in the original building too. Then there are these rooms here, which I just closed them off. The tower's up there, which I'll show you in a second. Then this is the other room, because it's smaller, because the tower's big. I don't know what this thing is, but this is like an altar thing, I guess. I don't know. J just a big golden sculpture, so I threw some of my gold inside of it. It looks very opulent, so it's cool. Then this is the back room area, which is uh, stained glass all over the place. I think it looks pretty epic. So now I'm going to go up to the top and show you what's going on up there. Luckily for you, this is the last laptop <laughs> recording ever hopefully and then i'll be back on the pc <laughs> so this is the top of it the organ it's very cramped up here i should have made it bigger because i have room between this and the the wall like over here <laughs> didn't feel like finishing this area <laughs> lol yeah that's true this took i this took like 80 percent of my materials like almost everything i had i had i ran out of cobblestone so i had to buy some from jaren this is like the keys of the organ I like the view you get from over there, even though there's slabs in the way. I want you to see how chaotic it is back here. I just started placing blocks everywhere. This was just rushed. It took forever. But I like it a lot. This is my bed from when I was working on the roof. And yeah, I did an exterior area like I, how I did on the cathedral, which is just an area that pops out. I think there's something like that in the original, but I made it look a little different to make it easier for me. This roof was the worst thing ever, by the way. <laughs> there's, I've got some materials, so I'll probably throw it, uh, go up there. Because it took me literally like two hours to get that part of the roof done. So I just have to show you. Rounding this area out was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> like there's stairs, slabs, full blocks all over the place. It goes down there too. But yeah, there's there's the train. It hasn't snowed yet, so. I feel like someone just went over there and did that because I don't know. I feel like that wasn't there earlier. Who knows? This is the tower, a little close up. There's a clock in it, so I put a clock in it. <laughs> Lit it up a little bit. I didn't know what to do with the lighting, but I thought that was a good idea. 
and it's snowing what a christmas miracle and the wall the roof i think i did it really well i always always i always make the roofs a little too low because like this it's hard to see from the bottom so if i just made it two blocks higher up from the actual top of the tower then it would look a little nicer but i just couldn't do it <laughs> It took me out so much. I had carpal tunnel in my left hand by the end of the day, or something that felt like carpal tunnel. It doesn't hurt too much now, but it hurt really bad when I finished this last night. But yeah, this that's the church. I think I got, I think I showed off everything in it. Um, there isn't really a whole lot else to show off. But yeah. Oh yeah, there's stairs on this side, and then in the other church, there's nothing back here, so I just threw a chest. <laughs> the doors, I think I did the doors pretty nicely. Might as well show you the outside now. So there's a door here, a little awning. This side's kind of blank. I'll probably add some detail to it uh, later. But not now. <laughs> and then there's the outside of the windows in the back. It's looking, looking beautiful. I'll probably add a window over here if I do something in the crypt area. Because there's actually a window there in, in real life. Oh but yeah, there's Ryan's tree by the way. It's actually beautiful. Best build in the Christmas area. He finally got it done. <laughs> this is the outside. Kind of sucks that with my little laptop I can't... You can't see it super well because of all the snow. But I added a bunch of stone detail to the tower. That took a little while. All this terraforming here was done by me in a, in a state that almost felt like I was drunk or something. I was just placing blocks all over the place. <laughs> just not even caring where they went. I just needed land here. So I did that. And yeah. If you can see by my frames, it's pretty bad. Some people, when they were talking about the Christmas event which we did like on the 20th or something on wednesday um people were like oh yeah when we recorded it <laughs> i did not i was i still had my laptop i got my pc back on friday so <laughs> i and with like eight people in the server and seeing how much my my laptop already lags when i use obs i was like my poor little laptop can't handle it so i just showed up walked around joked a little bit and the event ended. <laughs> I blew up twice, which is hilarious, because I always have the worst luck out of everybody. But I think it looks, I, I think I, the Christmas area is pretty satisfying. I know I was thinking about doing a village, which I will do, probably, when I get back from my trip. I'll be gone for a few days. I'll be back on Saturday afternoon, if everything goes fine with the timing. Shut up, airplane. But anyway, um, when I get back on Saturday, which is the 29th or something, I'll fire up the stream and finish this area. And then after that, I'm probably going to take a break from the server, just because this kind of burnt me out a lot. And since I have the single player world back, I think I, I'll uh, do some stuff over there because both you and uh, me have been wanting to get back to that area. And I'm also just kind of going to slow down from Minecraft in general. I'll probably get a new single player episode out sometime before school starts back up, which is on the 8th. And then after that, I'm probably just going to slow down a bunch on uh, gaming. And I'll kind of... And plus, since I, I've had my PC gone for so long, I want to play Counter-Strike and stuff again because I haven't had the chance to do that in a while. So, and since Counter-Strike's a little shorter than Minecraft, and Minecraft is a dedicated thing, I'll, I'm just going to take a break from this game for a little bit. I think I deserve it. <laughs> I don't think you understand how much time it took to do this. Like, 30 or so hours. Going back and forth between Google Street View. Getting materials. The amount of snow blocks I used in this. Probably like 10 stacks or something. 11, 15. I don't know. Look at how much snow this is. I probably used about as much snow in this as I did the mountain. Probably not that much, but a lot. <laughs> I still have a bunch of snow blocks somewhere. But this is my material count now. I am so broke. Like, this is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> oh, shit, creeper. <laughs> Alright, well. So, yeah. There isn't much else to say. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hope you're chilling. Um, 
I'm gonna take a break, go on my trip, have some fun. Hopefully get this thing edited and up by the end of the day. At least for me, EST. I know Boxburg is in New Zealand right now, visiting family or something. So, so it's probably literally Boxing Day for him already, because New Zealand's like 18 hours ahead of EST, which is where I am. I kind of like the view from here. The cobblestone part of the tower is kind of like fat for me, too fat, but I think it looks fine. I, think, I like what I did with the hands, with the stair and the slab. I think it looks cool. What time is it? It's 12.45. 12.45 at midnight now? When it's daytime, it's noon. <laughs> it's a little bland on the front. I was thinking about putting a cross up there, but it looked kind of dumb. This is basically how it looks. There's actually two windows on the side of it in real life, but I didn't have a bunch of room for that. And I felt like adding them would kind of, I don't know, make it not look as good. Hey! Oh, crap. It's a Christmas miracle. Creeper blowing up. But anyway, there isn't really much else to show off now. Um, yeah, there, there really isn't much. I think I was talking about doing something else, but I forgot what it'd be. But yeah, so in total, the Christmas area, I'm kind of satisfied with it. I think a bunch, hey. uh, enough people. Hey! So, um, Monster, me, Ryan, Hello World, the Alco, and Box Blair. I think that's just us we built hey. in the area. How are you jumping on me like that? Hey. It is, hey. I hate night in this game so much. It's horrible. But yeah, so there's my ski lift, the Alco Snow Globe, the Guillotine, Monsters, uh, Santa, and then Monsters Trees, and then Box Blair and Ryan's tree thing, hand, which Box Blair helped Ryan out with, and then there's Box Blair's train and my church. And overall, I'm really happy with it. I love it. We light up the bottom of this at night, just a little bit, because it's a little too dark. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. There's a spider farm over there, which I'll probably finish on that stream on the 29th, but anyway, this is this has been Sam. Thank you guys for watching this video and being patient with me. I promise I'm not going to do something this big ever again. I just want to do something big and epic and cool for the holiday. Anyway, this has been me. Thank you guys for watching. Back to beta. I'm out. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Whatever. <laughs> Peace.